Ah, there it is. Coke with coffee. I'm gonna try it right now, ladies and gentlemen. I have been seeing commercials. Oh, geez, that's bright. I've been seeing commercials for this on the tube, and I'm very curious now to see what this tastes like. I'll be honest, it does not sound good. It's definitely small coffee. Well, here you go. This is uh, actually a mocha flavor. They have like vanilla, mocha, dark roast. Here goes nothing. That's strange. It's not terrible, actually. It's, it's maybe not the first thing I would grab off the shelf, but if it were at a party in a cooler, I'd sip on that. <laughs> What's going on, YouTube fam? Mike here, shooting another high adventure video. Welcome to my backyard. Everything's starting to leaf out quite nicely. Got my boots. We're gonna go explore the creek. It's been a while, actually, since I've done any exploring in the creek area. One of the most epic videos I've ever made on my channel. Caught and cooked a copperhead right out there. It's pretty sweet. Hopefully we'll find something similar. That's what I'm after today is hopefully we'll find another snake. Oh, hey, check it out. My peas are starting to pop up. Woohoo! That's great. Check this out. The parsley just lasted all year long. Like it didn't even die in the winter. That's just parsley I planted like a year ago. Isn't that crazy? All right. So in that snake video, we had that old Troy built mower but unfortunately, if you follow me on Instagram, this happened like last fall, the Troy Bilt died. So we got rid of him and upgraded to a Cub Cadet. You know, I could have probably just edited some angelic music in there, but look at this fine piece of machinery right here. When you own a big piece of property like this, it's really the only way to get around. Uh, there we go. You know, I had never seen people drive around in golf carts before till I moved to the south. But I tell you what, this is even better than a golf cart. You know why? Because this cuts the grass as well. And it doesn't cost $10,000. I mean, golf carts start at $10,000 new. They often end up being like 14, 15,000 bucks. So ask yourself this, does your golf cart mow the lawn for you as well? I don't think so. Oh yeah, listen to that. Now in honor of the late great Troy Bill, we'll pour one out for him. That was for you, old Troy Bill pony. Excellent, most excellent. Uh, here we go. What I'm hoping to find today is a rubber glove, apparently. That's weird. We just had a bunch of rain uh, like two days ago. I have to get that cleaned up. And uh, uh, washed a bunch of junk down. The creek was actually like probably about a foot higher than this. So it is a little murkier than I'm used to. But what I'm hoping to find today is like another copperhead, or I would even take a big old water snake. Wouldn't mind eating one of those as well. Oh my, what is this? Okay, how about this bonus, bonus. Undies, undies, I don't even want to touch that, with a crawfish in it. Hey, it's crawfish season. Look at that. Oh, hey, oh, careful. Get out of here. Oh, 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 there he goes. Well, that was excellent. Oh, these are Hanes. I'll bet if we dried those out, gave them a good wash, that might be my, well, that might be a little large for me. I was gonna say we could possibly get some more use out of those, but eh, probably not. 
the things you find in the creek bed. Oh geez, is this more underwear? What in the heck is it with, are people undressing back here? That's totally more undies. Those are boxers, I think though. That's are too far gone for me. You know, we have found all kinds of items back here. I found stolen merchandise, um, all kinds of good stuff back in this creek before people have stolen stuff out of vehicles and ditched it in these backwoods. It's been uh, quite crazy. Oh man, what do we have here? Got like an old purse. Nothing in it. This looks like it's been back here a while. Oh wait, what? Like a DVD player? That's old too, that's been back here a while. Good grief. So this has been jacking stuff out of cars. Whew. It is muddy and nasty down here. It's kind of deep. I don't know if I want to keep going up this way. Might turn back around, try downstream a little bit where it's a little shallower. This water's still really high from what it was. I thought it might have come down a little bit more, but it has not, so. Guys, I think I just saw a turtle. I kind of just saw a turtle go right under, right over here. Looked like a big turtle. No. If that was a turtle... <gasps> Wait, that does look like a turtle. Wait, that is a turtle. Right down there. Wait, wait. Where are you going? I don't know how deep this hole is right here. Oh yeah, there's a turtle down. I don't know what kind it is. Oh, what? this is a snapping turtle. That would be epic. I've been looking for a snapper turtle like ever since I moved here. That was totally a turtle. I saw like I thought I like I saw the head because I'm looking for snakes, like with their heads bib bopping out of the water. And um I saw the head go under and it got me excited. I thought it was a snake at first, but I was like, wait, that moved way too slowly. I don't know if my GoPro picked it up. This is really murky. Um, but I saw then I like I just saw the whole mass like slide down, look like a rock just like slowly moving. Oh man, he's down here somewhere. Let me see if I can. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Huh? What we're gonna do is I'm gonna leave. And I this is a nice little hole for him. If he if he comes out of the hole, it's pretty shallow all out here. But he's just got a nice little sanctuary right in here. But he's gonna have to come up for air. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep going down. Let's keep see if we can find our snake. Because I don't know, I don't even know if there's a snapping turtle or not. It might just be a big box turtle. But we gotta find out. Because I mean it's literally right in my own backyard for heaven's sakes. If we could find a snapping turtle right back here, that would be awesome. I actually in my last video when I caught the and cooked the copperhead, that also was literally just like right up in the weeds right up there. So there's definitely plenty of wildlife literally right out my back door. All right, let's go see what else we find. Hopefully no more underwear. That's kind of making me a little wigged out, to be honest, finding all these undies back here. This is like fantastic snake habitat back here, really. You got like these rocks, you got all these tangles of uh, like roots and stuff like that. Great places for snakes to hide and move about. Also makes it kind of difficult to find them though. Springtime is the best time um, to find snakes during the day because they'll come out in sun and when it gets too hot they'll only come out at night from what I understand so it's a good time of year right now hmm about as far as I'm gonna go for now I think we're gonna continue the hunt up on land here it's about as far as I'm going in the creek what do we have here an old tent now this ain't that old. Look at that. Somebody back here was, is camping out. You know, the way they folded that over, 
almost makes me think that the rain was coming so they hightailed it out but tried to keep everything dry. If you guys have watched my past videos, you also know that uh, we've had problems with vagrants and bums and hobos hanging out on the back of the property here. And this is definitely, uh, definitely the case here. What do we got? Always got to be careful when you're rooting around this stuff because you don't know what these people are doing. And mostly I'm talking about being careful for needles. Drugs and stuff like that. What in the heavens is all this? Good grief. Some of these whole... Oh wait, hold up. What's this? <gasps> wait, that's a jar of peanut butter, isn't it? Wait, that's good peanut butter. That's still like half full. Creamy nonetheless, some of the best kind. So I'm gonna have to come back here and clean this up. What, you got any ID here? Now uh, this looks stolen to me, I don't know. Totally empty, <gasps> wait, a penny. That's good luck right there, we're keeping that. Guarantee you this was stolen. Almost guarantee it. Maybe not, it just seems really odd. I'm getting the odor of smoke. Whoever owns all this stuff is a smoker. Ooh, these are coming back in, ladies and gentlemen. Right here. You know it. Don't feel anything in there. Wait, something in this bag? There's something in this bag. What is this? What one is that? A slim socket? Slim socket. AC outlet plus USB port plus USB dash C port. I guarantee you they would not have this except it was probably stolen because there's nowhere in a tent to plug this in. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do, y'all? We're gonna get some trail cams set up back here and I'm gonna start figuring out who these folks are because between all the undies I'm finding and now, I mean, this is a full-blown tent, man. I mean, we got, we got a problem that's just not like, oh, happening every once in a while. We got people straight up trying to live on the back of this property, so. We're gonna try to catch who this is and get him out, but I just scored a slim socket. What do you know? This is private land. You, you can't be camped up back here. They know that too. That's why they're camped out here in the woods, trying to hopefully not be detected. Throw that up by the mower. All right, let's move up on this spot quietly. See if we see his head sticking out. Make sure he hasn't moved down river at all. I don't see the little head popping up. He's gotta be down there somewhere. I just can't, I can't see into the water. It's too, too murky. I think what I'm gonna do is we're gonna set the camera up and see if I get any shots of his head coming up. And then maybe I could determine from there whether it's worth hunting him or not, if it looks like a snapping turtle or not. Okay, I just reviewed the footage on my GoPro and that's definitely a turtle down there. I can't tell what kind it is though. I, I, it looks like it could be a snapping turtle. I've only ever seen one snapping turtle when, since moving here a year ago. I definitely didn't see like any of the colors of like the box turtles or whatever that they're called. I didn't see, I didn't see any like major yellow or red on it. So we might have a snapping turtle down there. We're gonna head back up. We're going to go ahead and run back to the house and grab a net and see if we can't scoop this turtle out of the depths and determine once and for all what it is. Well, we gotta start up the mower though. There she goes. Give it some juice. Look at the handling on this thing. Oh yeah.
That's really an all-terrain mower. I love it. Instead of just poking at the dumb thing, grab a net. See, we are pretty smart here at High Adventure Videos when we want to be. All right, you. Time to see if we can scoop out our quarry. That didn't work right there. Bunch of rocks, that didn't work either. He's like, you'll never take me. Not down by my feet, is he? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. there was something right there. I thought something just popped up. It's all craggy on the bottom, so it's really difficult to try to Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, there he is, there he is. He's moving. He's on the move. He's on the move. Oh, a bunch of big old fish. What are those? Well, those are big. Wait, I want to catch one of those. What kind of fish are those? Those are the biggest minnows I've ever seen in this place. Anyway, oh, he just moved over to this one. Sneaky little devil. There he is. Oh, that is a snapping turtle. Oh, that totally is. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at this. <laughs> Look at that! Oh, this is a snapper! Yes! Right in our own backyard! Man, this place is a veritable jungle! That's a nice one, too! The last one I saw last summer was probably about half that size. Ladies and gentlemen, this is high adventure history right here. History in the making. I have wanted to catch one of these really ever since I moved here. It's been on the list, as well as venomous snakes, and we got a, a copperhead and I now have a snapping turtle. Boom! Look at the claws on that thing. Look at that. That, I mean, that'll, those are sharp too. No, 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 stay. Just stay here. So big one. Whoa. Just chill out, brother. Stop. I know you can grab them. I've seen, I've literally trained for this moment. I've seen guys grab them. It's like back here. I'm trying to be careful for the claws, but the claws are starting to get me back there. That doesn't seem like a very good place to grab it. All right, I have a machete, freshly sharpened, ready to dispatch our turtle. Now, if I remember correctly watching my bro, he shot his. Well, I live in a little bit too urban of an area to shoot the turtle. Otherwise, I would have... Uh, uh, I'd have the neighbors after me <laughs> and the police would probably roll up. So what we need to do, if I'm not mistaken, is I need to clamp this guy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, in the original upload of this video, I showed an abridged version of how I processed this turtle. However, I must have come across the one person at the YouTube studios that had turtles as pets and I was quickly demonetized. So, being the greedy and self-centered YouTuber that I am, I wanted to get paid for my hard work. So, I decided to upload a different version of the same video, basically just walking you through the steps of how I process this turtle without showing any of the detail. To start with, I took the pliers that I had at the beginning, clamped them firmly in the turtle's beak, extended its neck, and with a couple of quick strokes from my machete, severed the head from the body killing it quickly and humanely. In the next step, I cut all the feet and claws off, as well as the tail. Then I proceeded to remove all the meat from each corner of the turtle, basically what would be considered the thigh meat. And finally, I skinned each quarter of meat that I removed and cash in on four really nice chunks of turtle meat. Now we got some good meat off this turtle. We're definitely gonna be able to tell what this tastes like. So we got plenty to sample from. We might even try a few different recipes with this. All right, y'all, we just got done cleaning the turtle, but my wife just told me that we have a swarm of bees in the, whoa, in the front of the house. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Look at all those. 
Look at that. There's something right there. They're all like hanging down off of that tree limb. They're all like piled around it and you can see them all flying around. Somebody tell me what's going on. What in the world is happening? Well, this day sure is full of excitement. Good grief. I know some of y'all probably know exactly what's going on right now and I'm really excited to uh, read about it because this is uh, totally new to me. But I guess that's a good sign that there are a lot of honeybees around. I may get everything pollinated and good to know that uh, that they're around this area. It's always good to have bees, that's for sure. Alright y'all, we have our turtle, which has actually been soaking in buttermilk for about two hours now. I'll be honest with you, um, not sure why I soaked it in buttermilk, um, just kind of seemed like the right thing to do. I don't know. It seemed fitting, people do it with like their catfish and stuff like that. So I thought, hey, we'll give it a try with the old turtle. What I'm looking to do is make some turtle cakes like crab cakes except with turtle meat and the reason for this is i watched my bro ace eat his turtle and he said it was very tough and i have experience with tough meat in the past and i thought hey i know how potentially to make this nice and delectable here's another nice chunk just taking big hunks off the bone really this is just like all one big bone. We're gonna go ahead and come over here to the pit boss. There we go. Turn this guy on. Now that our pan's heated up, we're gonna add some oil. Then we'll just go ahead and drop the turtle right in there. We're gonna cook it once. And I'm also going to add, whoa, that's a little hot. Good grief. Maybe we'll pull that off the heat. Shoo. We rinsed the chicken off too. So we rinsed the buttermilk off. Probably should have done that before I started cutting into it. But whatever. I'm going to throw some salt and pepper on the chicken. Preliminarily. There we go. Okay. That's a little better. Whew. That, got, uh, that got hot fast. Very interesting looking. To say the least. It, let me think. It smells like a like a roast or something like that almost as weird as that sounds it kind of it definitely smells like a almost like beef kind of weird okay while we let the turtle cook down i have made a delicious sauce here which is comprised of old bay seasoning mayo oh, <laughs> hey dude mr crockett's watching me cook uh cook the turtle you want to try some turtle no, <laughs> I can't tell if that was a yes or no. Anyway, this is comprised of Old Bay seasoning, mayo, Dijon mustard. Uh, what else did I put in this? Um, a little bit of lemon juice, some salt, pepper, and Worcestershire sauce. And all just mixed together. And that is what's going to keep our crab cake together. Oh, you know what I also need, actually? I need some parsley. I knew this stuff stayed alive for a reason. Right here, there you go. There's some fresh parsley for the turtle cakes. There we go. That was the last ingredient for our mixture. These guys have just finished the first cook. So I'm gonna bring them up here. There you go. I mean, it doesn't look terrible. Doesn't look the best either, I'll be downright honest with you. <laughs> so what I'm doing is we're just cutting all this up into little bits, really, kind of shredding it. And I could see now what my bro was talking about. This does, this is very like, like rubbery, just super, look, I mean, look at that. Super like rubbery and just very, very tough. I think that'll do. All right, now that we've cut our turtle into small pieces, 
we're going to take our Italian style breadcrumbs. I could have gotten plain, but I don't know, there's Italian sitting there. So I thought, what the heck, why not? And we're gonna take our turtle pieces, toss them in here, spooning in some paste right over top. And then we're gonna take our breadcrumbs and you kind of just have to do this according to like, I don't know, you just have to feel it. You wanna make like a little snowball basically. And that could mean adding more paste, adding more breadcrumbs. Like right now I can tell, I think I'm gonna need more breadcrumb because the breadcrumbs are gonna help hold it all together. The paste will make everything sticky. The breadcrumbs is like the cement, if that made any sense whatsoever. Feeling sticky, feeling like it's gonna pack. See how that's kind of just packing all in? It's all kind of by feel. So just a little bit of each at a time and you won't go wrong, really. All right, that's ready. We're gonna come back over here to our pan, add a little bit of oil, come back over to our turtle. And then here's where you're gonna kind of get a little bit messy. Go ahead and form these into little cakes, just like that. See how that's turning out right there? Oop. And I'm hoping that double cooking these will make them not quite as chewy like it did with the gar. Turtle cakes, ready for the pan. So let's go ahead and bring them over. Drop them right in, whoop, and whoop. Actually, I think I have enough. Do I have enough for one? Yeah, I can make one more little one. Mini turtle cake right there. Drop him in. I'm gonna kind of move these around in the grease a little bit. That way they don't sit and burn. There we go. All right. Now we'll just let those cook maybe for about, I don't know, three or four minutes on each side. And then we'll pull them off. I want a nice golden to dark brown on each side. I'll show you guys here in a second. And uh, hopefully they'll taste delicious. There we go. Let's go ahead and give these guys a flippity flip. Oh yeah, those are cooking. Cooking very fast. I have this thing on low, but it doesn't seem to know low. It knows high and higher. There we go. That's still not bad. That's not bad at all right there. All right, let's see how the other side looks. Oh yeah, there you go. That's not too shabby right there. Oop, little chunks coming off. Little one's definitely cooked. And how about the big one? Oh yeah, big ones barely stay together right now. Come on, there we have it. Oh, oh, starting to come undone a little bit. That's okay. And we're gonna finish it off. Just a little lemon juice sprinkled over everything. Boom, there we go. Fresh turtle cakes. Let's give it a try. <laughs> oh boy. I don't know about this. I always get a little nervous eating red meat that isn't, you know, beef, <laughs> basically. Uh, I mean, pork as well, you know, it's good. But here we go. It has to be done. Fresh turtle cake, slightly overcooked on one side, but you know what? Couldn't help that. Here we go. Oh, oh. That cake is not bad. The turtle is still chewy. That mixture's delicious. The, the, the crab cake mix, mixture, mwah, divine. The turtle here, we're gonna, we're gonna have just this little bit of turtle here. Once I get done chewing this turtle. Now what the heck, we'll just throw it in with the rest. <laughs> that is so chewy. I mean, that is chewy for days. First time ever eating turtle. And I'll say this, it's very edible. It's not, I, I always kind of go into this like, I'm a little worried, guys, is this, I'm not gonna put this in my mouth and be like, immediately regret it, you know? Not at all. You know what you could do? For how chewy this is, you need to make turtle jerky. That's what this would be perfect for. Because you could sit there and just chew on it and chew on it and chew on it for, for, for five, 10 minutes. Let me know, is there a way to, I don't know, could you beat it? Could you beat your turtle meat here? and tenderize it, you know, get like a little little meat pulverizer and just sit there and like, just beat the devil out of it and make it less chewy? Or is this the name of the game when you eat turtle? I'd be curious to know. Tastes just fine, but very, very chewy. Well, YouTube fam, we learned today that turtle is a lot like gar. It's very difficult to process, a lot of work, 
very time consuming, but it's delicious when cooked properly, I would say. In extreme cases, turtle, oh, well, you know, snapping turtle, delicious. If you need some food and, you know, like you're out camping or trying to survive or whatever, turtle, not, doesn't taste bad. Doesn't taste bad at all. For kind of the everyday wanting to catch something and eat it, I'm honestly not quite sure that it's worth the hassle unless there's a way to tame the chewiness. Thank you guys for hanging out with me in the backyard today in the woods. Hope you guys enjoyed the recipe. Hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, I will see you in the next.